Hello, hello. I haven't filmed much today. GoPro's pretty low on battery. And my battery pack's all the way in my pack. <laughs> uh, I'm like 13, 14 miles into the day. I'm trying to do like 10 more and get close to Port Clinton. And it's about to thunderstorm on me. Um, yeah, moving along, going into Port Clinton or Hamburg tomorrow, resupply and get something to eat because I'm pretty hungry. Um, trying to get miles in today so that I can get into town with enough time tomorrow to like charge my stuff and get a bunch of food and do my resupply and all that. And then get out of town still. So yeah, that is all. Had a few pretty good views this morning and I went over the knife edge, all those rocks, which was kind of cool. And yeah, now I'm just hiking. I'm probably gonna get dumped on with rain in a little bit. And then it's gonna be like 30 tomorrow morning. So it cools off. But anyway, this thing's about to die with battery. So maybe I'll check in at a uh, camp when I get it charged. I reek and all my stuff smells really bad um, and yeah that's pretty much the size of it <laughs> it's gonna be like 30 degrees in the morning or something like that I think it's gonna be below freezing and uh, it should be nice cool off a little bit do some easy miles into town tomorrow That is all. Um, yeah, that's all. Have a good night. I think I've been woken up by the wind. I've been kept up and woken up by the wind oh, for a couple hours now. I said to go restake the tarp for like the fourth or fifth time because the winds are so strong that it's just ripping the stake out of the ground. And I still have my winter stakes with me, so they're like six or eight inches long and they're all the way in the ground and the wind is ripping them out of the ground and like flinging everything everywhere there was some lightning before um but that stopped now it stopped raining what the heck is going on ugh so, I think uh, the wind advisory is just to go until 10, and it's almost 10, so. Anyway, that's how the night's going. Good morning. 
It's in the low 30s this morning. Cooled down. Last night was pretty wild with all that wind. So windy. The lightning was pretty crazy too, but I don't think I was that close to the lightning. It just kept lighting everything up. Um, but the wind it was ripping take 10 stakes out, like flinging everything around. That was pretty crazy. Um, but I managed and then eventually it died down. It was just crazy. Like you could just hear it like building and roaring. And you could just hear it getting closer and then all the trees would start to shake. And cause I'm sleeping between the trees, my hammock, everything would start to shake. And then my tarp would just everywhere. And then a couple times I just saw it just and the whole thing, you know, one of the tent stakes would come out and the whole thing would be flopping around. So I'd have to get up and go in the rain and stake it down and tie it and do the whole thing. <laughs> but it's all good. Made it through the night. I was just crossing my fingers. You know, I, there were no dead branches above me. I checked, but I'm always like, oh, please don't like have a tree fall. I heard like, you know, trees cracking. And so I was like, please don't follow me. <laughs> um, but I only heard a couple trees like crack and I think they were just branches. So anyway, I'm walking along now. The trail's super easy this morning. Gonna try and make it to Port Clinton late morning or Hamburg late morning. Charge my stuff, eat, resupply, and uh, get back out there. I think today's supposed to warm up a little and be sunny, like 40s, sunny. So, moving right along. Hello everyone, I've just been bumming around in the shopping center, <laughs> going food shopping now, I'm going back to the trail eventually, I'll probably end up doing like two miles in the dark later, just to get up the mountain, get to a campsite, and then I'm going to wake up in the snow tomorrow, <laughs> so we'll see, but it's going to be a short day of hiking tomorrow to meet up with the furthest north northbounder, so... Um, anyway, that's all. I'm going food shopping now, and I'll check in later. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? So, I got out of town with the help of a nice person I met um, a few days ago on the trail who lives in the area, and I got to camp up the mountain. I wanted to get that climb out of the way before the snow hits tomorrow. Hold on, I gotta clip this. I gotta clip this here onto the corner of this thing. Hold on one second, I'm gonna put you down. All right, there we go. And I'm back. Okay, so. Yeah, so I got this climb out of the way. And I'm doing a short day tomorrow to meet up with uh, Sam. Ah, nice and cozy in the hammock. Ah, alrighty y'all, well that's it. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Short day tomorrow, it's gonna be great. Got a lot of food, and I'm ready for the next stretch. I'm feeling good, I'm excited. Things are good. Alrighty y'all, good night. Good morning. I was flurrying a little earlier, and I'm on the move. I'm walking nice and slowly, because I'm only doing like seven, seven and a half miles today. To that shelter where I'm gonna meet up with the furthest north, northbounder. Which is super exciting, Sam. And I get to see 
I get to have someone at camp tonight and see another through hiker. First through hiker. So exciting. So, yeah, I don't know how much I'll film today, but I'm so excited to see another person and chat about the journey, right? I want to hear the south in the winter. Crazy. Well, it's snowing. Um, oh, look at that. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Snowing. It's snowing. It's kind of nice. Oh. Just laying here. I'm too lazy to put up my tarp right now. But, I'm going to be camp buddy soon, which would be great. And yeah, I'm just eating some food and laying down. It's a good time. I definitely needed this little short day, a little rest, a little chill day. So, feels good.